Curfew hours start from 10 p.m. to 4 a.m. and only those with a clearance can travel within those hours. On one hand, some people are still getting caught up with the curfew hours, still driving through the road. Over 320 people in Kigali have been captured and detained for not adhering to the COVID-19 preventive measures, hence passing the night in various stadiums of Remera, Nyemirambo and Kichukiro. It's necessary to reinforce these policies because as you can see, some of them here are drunk and when one gets drunk, they lose track of time, hence driving recklessly. Apart from Kigali, over 1,200 people have been captured in the eastern province, 494 in the south, 970 in the north, and 1,748 in the western province. People from across the country were held captive for various reasons, which include exceeding the curfew hours, getting drunk, not wearing a face mask properly, not practicing social distancing, and many more. Some drivers knocked at my shop asking for energy drinks and as I opened to give them, I was captured with the rest. The national police intends to keep ensuring that the COVID-19 preventive measures are obeyed, as explained by the Commissioner of Police, John Bosco Cabrera. The plan is to keep making sure that all citizens adhere to the COVID-19 preventive measures because we are here as the police to ensure that by capturing those that disobey the rules and teach them on how to prevent themselves from getting infected and also punish those that keep disobeying until all people learn or when coronavirus is over because we are not backing down from this responsibility. The Minister of Local Government, Professor Anastas Shaka, requests all people to keep adhering to the COVID-19 preventive measures due to the drastic increase of infected people as showcased by the Ministry of Health. All citizens, including officials, should take it as a responsibility to prevent the spread of COVID-19 virus because no matter what the health sector may do to treat us, it is our primary responsibility to protect our lives. Secondly, we are in a critical season whereby the virus is growing each day, which is why we should prevent it as early as possible and make sure that our lives are secured even during the holiday season. What we ask of all Rwandans is to put much effort in adhering to the COVID-19 preventive measures. Mm. The government of Rwanda has been mitigating the spread of COVID-19 virus for the last 10 months through reinforcing preventive measures such as wearing a face mask, proper washing of hands regularly and social distancing within a meter. Jane Mutoni reporting for RTV.